Welcome to a sneak peek of the spring 2022 California Gold Surf Auction colors, lines, shapes. We have a very special art set that features an incredible once-in-a-lifetime collaboration. 14 years ago, Rennie Yader, Kevin Ansel, and John Comer, they launched a project to commemorate classic surfboards and shapers combined with paintings of historic surf locations on the coast of California. The boards tell the story of an evolving sport, art form, and culture that comes to life through this defining collection. The San Onofre Pacific System Homes Board, circa early 1930s. This board is fiberglassed, foam, hand-shaped by Renniator, faux painted as balsa wood with abalone inlay by Kevin Ansel, vignette oil on gesso painting of San Onofre by artist John Comer, 10 foot 6 inches by 23 inches by 3 and a half inches. This board built in 2006. San Onofre was the sweet and easy, low-simmering crucible of American surfing in the 1930s and early 1940s. In 1929, Meyer's buddy, the college-age son of one of the Pacific System Homes co-founders, persuaded the company to build and market a line of surfboards. Surfing had been introduced to Southern California 22 years earlier, but not until the late 20s was board demand high enough to encourage production line assembly. The Dana Point Hobie Altar Balsa, early to mid-1950s. Fiberglassed foam surfboard hand-shaped by Rennie Yader. Faux painted as balsa wood by Kevin Ansel. Vignette oil on gesso painting of Dana Point by John Comer. 10 foot 6 inches by 23 by 3 and a half. This board built in 2006. A beachfront city in South Orange County, California and a surf industry hotspot for more than 50 years. Dana Point was named after 19th century American author and sailor Richard Henry Dana who described the area in his 1840 book Two Years Before the Mast. Hobie surfboards dominated board making from the late 50s to the early 1970s and still now producing some of the finest surfboards in California. In the beginning, Alter started building and selling balsa boards out of his parents' Laguna Beach garage. Three years later, his father bought him a small plot of land on Pacific Coast Highway near Dana Point. Alter designed and built a small factory, retail building, and Hobie Surfboards opened in 1954, the first commercial surfboard outlet in Orange County and the first shop of its kind built from the ground up. Malibu Joe Quig Balsa Chip, early to mid-1950s. Fiberglassed foam surfboard hand-shaped by Rennie Yader. Faux painted as balsa wood by Peter St. Pierre. Vignette oil on gesso painting of Malibu by John Comer. 9 foot 6 inches by 23 inches by 4 inches. Built in 2017. A California Point Break Malibu, often described as the original perfect wave, is located on the northern arm of Santa Monica Bay in Los Angeles. Designed by Joe Quigg, the Malibu chip was thin, nose-lifted, yellow-beige, and covered in paraffin wax for traction. The Malibu chip allowed the surfer to ride near the center, which kept the board on a much quieter track. Further, the new board didn't just hold an angle. By leaning over one rail or the other and applying pressure, the surfer could now drive a few degrees up and down the wave face. The Malibu chip was first and foremost a better riding surfboard. On the auction block this spring, three separate lots, the San Onofre Pacific Systems Homes, the Dana Point Hobie Alter Balsa, and the Malibu Joe Quig Chip. A unique and fascinating collaboration between artists, craftsmen, and the spirit of the locales along the California coast. Heritage, craft, and evolution. Mm -hmm.